this unexpected treat. I didn't know you were going to whip this out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to slam it down on the table is what I'm about That's to right. do. And I'm going to hop around. <laughs> you can't you can't get down? Have we revealed too much? We may have. And actually, I'm going to reveal, I'm going to foreshadow one other thing. Foreshadow. That I uh, realized today as I was kind of scouring the interwebs a little bit. Okay. That uh, specific to uh, this beer, mm-hmm. I feel I am not alone. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to foreshadow. You, you probably already know maybe a little bit of what that means. I do know uh, what that but means. But the uh, exactly audience doesn't, so we're going to get right to this uh, very big, exciting seasonal that everyone is always chasing, and we have found some. So uh, that's what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And uh, on today's show, the beverage that we are about is the uh, much revered and often anticipated yes. uh, Hop Slam from Bells out of Comstock, Michigan. Um, disclosure, you've had one, right? I have had one. I bought a, a six-pack. I was able to find it uh, at Total Wine. Uh, it was one of those things that they seem to do this more now lately, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip people into this. Ooh. I probably shouldn't because then this, this hurts uh, loop. hurts myself here a little bit. But So if there's something that's a seasonal that you think is going to be like hard to find, if you don't see it on the shelf, they secretly have it behind the counter, and they do that for a lot of things now. The Enjoy by IPA, the this... Um, if you're ever looking for the 120 minute from Dogfish, oh really? It's never out on the shelf, like or the the what's the one the world worldwide stout that they do. Oh okay. All of those things they will 99% of the time not be on the shelf. You got to go over to the customer service counter, ask for it, and they will give you one. And that's why that counter keeps getting bigger. And bigger <laughs> yeah, and bigger. it does. Well, because there <laughs> are so like, many amazing specialty <laughs> beers. That's and, right. Uh, I mean, it's good for one reason because then it gives more people an opportunity to take them because obviously certain things. If they had had more of the enjoy buyout, I probably would have bought them out of a right. case, you right. know. But they only give you one. You could go out in the parking lot, come back in, and find another person and yeah. have them do it <laughs> in again. D- little disguise. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you do the uh, Family Guy Peter Griffin disguise, where you just keep coming up to the to the uh, Costco <laughs> and trying to get samples. And I'm like, sir, you don't have to disguise yourself. <laughs> they have less and less beer on their shelves, and more and more <laughs> in this like one concentrated area. You walk in, and there's sudden, everybody's in this long line. <laughs> there's, a, there's a wine section, and there's a giant vault. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like that's just Budweiser, Miller, and Coors, yeah. and everything else they've got. It no, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, All exactly. these specialty things, yeah. but but so, uh, anyway, so that's uh, where they keep it. And I had one of those a couple years ago. Did you have it on draft or in a bottle? In a bottle. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, when uh, Justin was still at McGee Road Liquors, he he's like, "Oh, I got the hop slam in," and so I so he actually allowed me to buy one bottle. Oh, that was nice. Which, as you're about to find out, was nice. Yeah, it was. I only had to commit to I committed to one bottle. I committed so. to a six pack because I had heard the wonders of this, and I'm always excited for new stuff. So I'll throw a little bit around. It's it's twenty bucks for a six pack. Twenty at least there it was twenty dollars. Twenty dollars your, your American. Vary? Twenty dollars American for six of them, <laughs> which it almost makes the uh, duché look cheap. Not quite. It does. Not quite. <laughs> not, but, not quite. But, but uh, that was that's still equal. I'm savoring the four pack of that that I have. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've only had two. It's very hard yeah. not to have they more than one in a night. So so easy. It does. Um, anyway, other particulars: ten percent. Uh, so this is real okay. uh, higher alcohol, and it is considered a double IPA and uh, winter seasonal. Yeah, winter uh, that, seasonal. This was just brewed in January. Uh, mid- it was bottled, bottled, in bottled January. in January. Okay. Yeah, uh, the sixteenth. Yeah, and that was when they kind of started shipping them out. I read on their website to different states. It was okay. in uh, mid January, so I found this uh, actually not too long, about a week and change ago. So ale brewed with honey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and it does have honey there, which I thought was interesting. I did not even know that about it. I was just like, oh, hop slam. Okay, I want to. Si- I'll take a six pack of that. Okay. And then I was like, what is it? <laughs> it's a biting bitter. Yeah, the graphic is pretty funny, which you Tongue can see bruiser. right here. I, I think that's pretty hilarious. The uh, guy just getting completely destroyed by a hop cone. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. And they even did it on the cap, too. Cap artwork is nice. almost becoming like a lost thing, like album cover artwork. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's usually just a boring gold cap same, or whatever. Right. This, they actually which, took the time. Which, which, well, actually, we had another colorful one. Yeah, the last see? One too. Look at the theme we got going but, this week. Which is actually, you know, uh, it makes sense financially to have all your caps be the same because yeah. you probably get a better deal on Definitely. that than as opposed to something like that. So um, Maybe that's why the price is so high. It's the cap. Just think, if I had like if they had just a regular gold cap, it'd be like eight bucks. Eight bucks. That's all. <laughs> it's the cap. All right, but anyways. All right, so, so yeah, let's uh, get right to the uh, pouring here. Well, that looks somewhat uh, somewhat golden and clear. Whoa, and that is clear. Yeah, see that? Yeah, anyways, that is, wow. 
Yeah, that, I'd say gold is completely the perfect uh, color description, and yeah, see, and clear as glass. And this is yeah. a, we're harping on it, but this is what the Enjoy Buy looked like the other day for me. See, it was, with was me. like that. Yeah, that's totally, funny. That's so weird. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you didn't enjoy that one quick enough. That was maybe <laughs> the one first off the line, so it actually had gotten old. Yeah, it could have been. Maybe <laughs> it had already gotten old. I mean, it was too young still. It could be. Oh, there's that. That fried. Yeah, there's that kind of a, uh, there's a strong, it's a, well, there's initially, I think, like, very piney, Pine, herbal, yeah. and things like And I think what that almost turns into, and what makes you always kind of say the fried thing, right. is because a lot of times those seasonings go into go those into kind of things. And that could things, be, yeah. Go into those things. Yeah. Like I said, that piney, savory, herbal, like when that savory yeah. gets really strong and there's not um, some citrus in there, which I think there's a little bit of uh, citrus at the back, but but right. not a lot for me. Yeah, no, that's, that's more that's maybe that like pine. a grapefruit. Maybe I'm getting kind of that because it almost is like it's almost like I can feel my mouth not only watering but like bitter. Like it's almost like I can already taste the bitterness just in the aroma. Yeah, there's a piney and a well. See, I get a little piney and a little savory. I don't, I okay. don't quite pick up on the on the uh, on that. No string. Okay, but it could be uh, not that not that's not there. No. Either. All right, ready to hop slam it. Let's hop slam it. Piney notes. Yeah. I get the honey. I get a little sweetness yeah. in I, there. I, I think maybe... See, honestly, I am more dry than bittered and soured at the back. Hmm. And I don't know if that honey smooths out, smooths that out. Could be. I'm fairly... Uh, my, my my tongue's all a tingle. Yeah. And I've got I've got some good bitterness at the back. I have that, Not overwhelming. But, no, I have it, but I, I'm just dry. It's just... I'm drier than... I would expect to be, I would expect to be like you know heavier on the back of my tongue than that. But this is kind of weighting me down. Front. The dryness probably and could be coming maybe from the sweet because it's getting so sweet. You know, if you have something yeah, it could super be. sweet because my mouth kinda... is. It's funny at the same time I'm dry, my mouth is watering a little bit too. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, well, yeah, there's definitely some salty, savory going on in yeah. there too. It's good. It's good. That's kind of what I thought the other day too. Now I I pay already, about nine or ten dollars for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I'd pay nine or ten dollars. <laughs> no. um, it it uh, for me this is actually better than the one I had the other day. I think the one I had the other day for some reason it could have just been expectations. Arthur so, Arthur syndrome. Yeah, very much so. Could have just been the expectations. Like, oh my god, this is going to be the most amazing thing, yeah. and you know the short description on the back is like biting bitter, like all these things, and I had it, and the one the other day was very it was. Uh, bland is too strong, but it was you know I was like okay it's bitter at the back, but I'm not getting a lot of flavors. So the, so they hit that note, but usually with that bitterness, especially with a double IPA, I get some other flavor complexity, which I think I was excited about. And it seems like they went more for just the like the little sweet, pretty smooth, and then they hit you with the bitter at the back. Yeah, and I'm getting more aromas in this one than I did the other day too. So it could have just easily been me. Well, and that but does it, happen. I mean, you know, a yeah. lot of times you're anticipating something. Um, when I when Justin originally had talked about this so highly and I bought took that one bought it, brought it home I was like, yeah, kind of like this. I'm like, that's okay. not bad. Yeah, but I was and like, but I was like, geez, he, I mean, even and at people that time, were excited about it. And I think he gave me a deal, and and it was still you know it was like three something for the bottle, at, and this was a couple of years ago, and I was like, okay. But I thought, yeah, I, 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 I mean, people like seek this out, and they are like, you know, they're going crazy for it, and that's and that's awesome. But it was it was funny. So kind of after that. This morning before we had this again, I was like, man, I'm like, maybe I, I don't get what this is supposed to be for, but, you know, I'm reading double IPA and there's other ones that I like so much more. And I'll, I'll mention what I just said, the, the mercenary from Odell. Oh, yeah. Half the price, twice the flavor. The, maybe the, the, hundred, the strength of the bitterness maybe is not there. So if that's what you want more than anything, then maybe this fits your bill. Right. But that one is so much more flavor complex and everything yeah. else. So anyway, so I went, I went ahead and I went to Beer Advocate. And I was just starting to look at their reviews. And literally, like, the first five I looked at, they all, I mean, because this gets, this gets an amazingly high score. The guys on that site love it. Everyone else, overall, it's, like, huge. It's in, you know, the high 90s. Like, all this, it's like, oh, it's amazing. Right. But then if you actually read people, like, what, they're, what they say, what they say does not match the score they're giving it. Okay. Because, I was, like, the last paragraph of almost the first four or five I read, small sampling size, but it was just funny to me that they were literally, like, 
an okay double IPA. It's this and that and the other, but no, I'm not sure about the price. You know, like all of them basically came to not sure about the price. Okay, double IPA. It does, you know, well for what it is, but right. still not like, I, there was none of them that were like, mind blown. Right. There was no like explosions happening or fireworks Great going Great at twice on. the price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, so I think, it's, I think it's very cool. Obviously, it's, it's garnered the Jamaica Blue Mountain almost of beers right. perhaps some of that right. on there where it's almost like the more it's not really the greatest of coffees but it's garnered the history and the excitement and they've built up enthusiasm which is cool the lore and you the know and i'm glad to have gotten one and i'll enjoy the other three yeah it's just not going to be one that i'll wind up going back to because it's yeah. just not i mean there's so many other things for i mean i could have eight mercenaries for the same price right i could have you know yeah several other double ipas is this that a I enjoy. four pack or a six pack this is a six pack oh six pack okay. yeah it is a six pack yeah so but you know, still yeah, I could have eight mercenaries eight. for that same yeah, price. So right. I could get two more beers. Right out of that, I, and I would easily buy a four pack of Duché. Oh, totally. Before I would buy that six pack. Correct. That's just me. A different style. Love yeah, like different style. Keep different them within style. the same style framework. Uh, yeah, that's uh, true. What but else still. would you? Uh, there, uh, um, the ruination from Stone. I don't know if they totally consider that a double IPA, but that's a hot monster. I would rather have that. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad I got to try it again because I, I, you know, after then still hearing even more people talk about it. Oh yeah, I first had that. I thought hey, maybe I just missed the boat, or maybe I. You yeah, know, it's and, and you know, two three years palate evolves every every oh, day. Definitely. Our palates are right. evolving. And I thought, well, maybe I'll appreciate it a little bit more. And once and I, once again, we're not saying it, it's faulty or that it's bad. No, there's nothing, and it's it's very um, good. I yeah. think they do good at this style. It's just I, I guess for so that amount, I want more, and I want a little more complexity. So if this was the same price as Mercenary, and it's a six pack. You still pick the mercenary? Yes. Because the mercenary is a four pack, yes. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just because if you want to compare that to that, then I would even go the, not to hit the same horse again, but I would go the Odell regular IPA. Because then I'd get Ooh, six which beers. Is quite good. A actually. dollar less than six yeah. beers. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I do I love trying all the, like I said, we've tried other things from Bell's. They always, like I said, their they're beers are always really clean, really interesting. Yeah. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, this one I think is just way way overpriced yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just uh in you know but anyway have you talked with jason about this already no i have not you should pour him this and don't tell him what it is on sunday i will yeah i, will. I should just, do that and that's a good say, call. Yeah. And, and, and maybe who, know, who knows maybe he'll say "Ooh, that's awesome i'd pay this or that just say hey i want you to try this and, and just and maybe tell him it's that's a double good. ipa and then just just tell him that or you know you could even tell him less but just to see and maybe even joe and, yeah, I mean, that would be interesting what, to see, what, see, what, they, they, see yeah. what they say, a kind of a blind tasting. So we'll get back to you on that. Yeah, we will, actually. We will let you know that. <laughs> and uh, the place where you can find that information when we get back to you the is at our up. website at aboutbeverages.com. And that's where you can find the uh, tasting notes for this beer from Bell's Brewery, along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely uh, let us know if there are other double IPAs that uh, you like or other things that we should be trying that we're missing out on, especially seasonally. Because yeah. we really want to be able to get to those things when they're around. Because, uh, yeah, I love this beer. You could have gotten it four months ago. Yeah, sorry. Right. Not going to wait till next year. Not going to help a lot. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we'd like this week. We'd like some more comments, a little more uh, feedback on what we also should be drinking. And uh, if you like this beer, what do you like about it? What are, what am I missing? Right. I'm very Tell interested us. in that. We as love well. that discussion. We do. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.